kids are, are born scientists. They're always turning over rocks and plucking petals off of flowers. They're always doing things that, by and large, are destructive. And uh, <laughs> no, that's what exploration kind of is. If you, you take stuff apart, whether or not you know how to put it back together. This is what kids do. A, an adult scientist is a kid who never grew up. That's what an adult scientist does. So what happens at home is the kid reaches in the refrigerator, pulls out an egg, and starts juggling it. What's the first thing you do as a parent? Stop playing with the egg. It could break. Put it back. Excuse me, this is an experiment in the material strength of... <laughs> Let the kid find out that when it drops, it breaks. That's, that's, this, this is a physics experiment rapidly turned into a biology experiment, okay? The yolk oozes out, you say, hey, that becomes a chicky one day, okay? Wait, how does this gooey oak become a chicken? Well, that's biology, check that out. And what did the egg cost you, the 20 cents? President of Harvard once said, if you think education is expensive, you should try the cost of ignorance. So we don't have enough parents who understand or know how to value the inquisitive nature of their own kids because they want to keep order in their household. Kids go in into the kitchen and pull out all the pots and pans and start banging on them. What's the first thing you say as a parent? Stop making all that noise. Stop the racket. You're getting the pots and pans dirty. You just squashed an entire experiment in acoustics. So, I'm not worried about kids. People say, what can I do to get my kids interested in science? They're already interested in science. You're the one who's the problem. Almost my entire professional energy is focused on adults because they outnumber kids, they vote, they run the world, they wield opportunities. Kids will be fine. 